Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to do a quick little talk through makeup tutorial on this really easy peasy glowy summertime look. This literally, it didn't take long, like 10-15 minutes, maybe 20. So I was talking through and thinking while doing it. But if I did this wham bam in a hurry, 10 minutes. So if you would like to see how I got this. Then just keep on watching. And okay. don't it. So I already have put on my primer and foundate foundation, and I've used the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer, a sample, and I also used the Kula Golden Organic BB Cream. These are both SPF 30. Got a lot of sunscreen on. Summer. Gaga la. Gaga la. Ga. Gotta, gotta, gotta have a lot of sunscreen. So, now I'm gonna apply only um, concealer under my eyes. Because we don't want this to look crazy heavy. Because Well, it's summer. Also, I did a review on the primer and sunscreen that I am... Primer and sunscreen. Primer and BB cream I am wearing today. It's my last video, so please check it out if you would like. That'd be great. And yeah, you'll see if I like it. So there we go. And now I'm just going to set my under eyes real quick. Normally I set my whole face, but for this look, I'm only doing the under eyes. Because we want to say more dewy and fresh looking. So, just the tiniest amount. Just to keep it from creasing. All right. So now, I am just going to pop on some Very Natural Brows using the Brow Gal pencil and matching powders. Today I'm actually going to go in with this lighter shade than I normally do, so it kind of looks like my brows have been lightened by the sun possibly and I'm not gonna do anything crazy you honestly could do this relatively fast if you wanted to I'm just filling out my natural shape and then I just swipe a little on the front and go back and forth like that and you see my eyebrow is really defined already without a lot of work so now let's just do the other one I really like this brow powder and brow pencil. I got them from my BoxyCharm. I only got one and I canceled it. My boyfriend and I are planning to move out, get our own place. Our move out date is August and we really need to save some money. It's our first time being on our own and all that. and can't afford the extra things anymore but that's okay because makeup is still fun whether you're using high-end getting fun boxes or just going to the grocery store so I'm not that upset really because in the future I can always subscribe to it again if I really wanted but I have so much makeup anyway I shouldn't even like that shouldn't even 
be an option for me to go get more. Okay. So, now that we've got nice defined light brows, way through than usual, I am going to now take my NYX brow gel and we're gonna set them in place. I always brush upward and then go to the side at the tail. Makes them look nice and feathered. Just like that. Quick and easy. Nothing crazy about this. This is a quick tutorial. So next I'm going to do my eyeballs. So honestly I'm not really going to prime them too much. I'm going to use this RMS Beauty Max. Matt, I can't talk today. After like 7 p.m., I can't talk. I just, I go into sleep mode. But the Master Mixer, and it's a rose gold cream. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. Really nice glow. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't really use this too often. Because I'm not big in cream highlighting, but I thought this would be good for this. So, just going to rub it on. There we go. And I'm going to take my Morphe 25A palette. And I'm going to dip in to this orangey shade right here. And I'm just going to put this all through my crease on top of that cream. Mix it in with it. Which I know you're probably thinking, what the heck? Putting eyeshadow on top of something sticky. But it's all gonna still blend out nice, I promise. So, there we go. Putting a little orange in there for warmth. And next, I am going to take this warm brow. Same brush. This is just a ColourPop blending brush, nothing special about it. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner, add a tad bit of drama, just the littlest bit. And as you can see, putting that over the cream still keeps it dewy on the eyes, which is really pretty for summer. And then next, I'm just going to take this chocolate brown tawniest bit and put that in the outer V and blend it out just for more definition. I'm dropping stuff. Every time I film a video, I drop stuff everywhere. But if I'm just doing my makeup and nothing special, I don't drop anything. It doesn't happen. So we're just going to blend this out, keeping it in the outer corner. We don't want to really move it too much. We just want some definition for our summer look. And next, I'm just going to go back lastly into that orange color we use again first and go back on top blend everything out
and just make sure take the clean a clean blending brush and just really make sure everything is nice and buffed out and next I'm just going to take that master mixer once again put it on the center of the lid and we're going to use this as a base sort of like to foil the eyeshadow I can't screw it on and then we're just going to take I'm going to take this shimmery golden champagne color and we're just going to pat that on top and we're going to take a fluffy brush and smooth it on out with everything else I really like gold's little shimmery look and I'm going to take this lighter shimmery color and just put that on top there's a little bit of this one too I'm just going to make my own unique color there we go and there we go and next I'm just going to take that warm brown we used before buff your brush buff it under the lower lash line Ooh. trying not to get too much fall out Alright, and we are already done with that part of the eyes. Just gonna make sure it's real blended. Um, I'm just gonna very quick take that master mixer one more time. I know, going in like crazy. I'm gonna take a flat brush and just put it on the brow bone for a real subtle highlight. Real pretty. And you can put this in with foundation. Use it as a highlight eye base like I just said. You can use this for anything. That's why it's called a Master Mixer. So it's pretty cool. So now I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm only going to do my top lashes. I want to keep this more natural. More open eyed and I don't want a ton I'm just putting a little so you see them I like to keep makeup minimal for beachy summery looks and this is the Smashbox Indecent Exposure Mascara I really like this mascara say it in every video, I use it in almost every video, so y'all know by now. So now I'm going to move on to blush. I'm using the Cream Pixie by Petra Multi Balm in the Wild Rose shade. And I'm just going to put this right on like this. Take my damp beauty blender and blend that out. This is a really pretty blush. I like it a lot. And I don't even normally use creams, but I really like this one. Just adds a little color to the face. And I think it's a pretty mauve. And it keeps everything nice and dewy for summer. Ooh, I may have went a little heavy handed. We're gonna be rosy today. Pretend we just went for a beach run. <laughs> so, there's that blush all rubbed in. 
And next I'm just going to take the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. Love this stuff. And I'm just going to get my contour brush. Um, just bronze up a little bit. Not a ton. Well, kind of a ton. I mean, we are doing a summer beach look. But I'm not going to get overboard. Or at least I'm going to try not to. So, get the drill line. Of course, I'm going to do my neck. Make it look tan to make me look tanner. I need to do another fake tan mine more off like two weeks ago and I've been lazy, but I purchased, YouTube made me buy the Loving Tan Mousses and I have that to try. So I'm going to do a review video on that. So that'll be fun. Okay, temples. Now I kind of am going in a lot. I want this to look very tan. I mean it is a summer look. So you don't have to use as much as me, but this is what I have chosen to do. I have chosen to do a ton. I'm just going to dust a little over the chin. So you would normally get tan there. This whole cheek area would get a little tan, so lightly just on the whole cheek area. And then I'm just going to dust down the keeper's bowl so it's not super pale and lightly contour but kind of messily because you know your whole nose gets tan really do the nose and there we go I'm finally done with the bronzer <laughs> and now I'm just going to take the um, brow gal again and the point and I'm going to take this um, dark shade and I'm just going to very carefully put this over where all my natural freckles are And just kind of make them pop. Now you can do this messily and fix it. So don't worry if you go in dark and crazy and smudgy. We gonna fix it. I'm also going to use that light color we do on brows. Just to mix in some warmer color since I'm a very warm toned person. Okay. And now that we look crazy, we take the dampened beauty blender and tap it in. And now you just look like you have more prominent freckles. It's hard to tell on my camera. But they're there. Ah! Ugh, you drop everything. Okay. Maybe I can make this more visible. There we go. Lighting issue. Always a lighting issue. So, next. We are then going to take our liquid highlight, and this is the Temp2 and BoxyCharm 
liquid glow collab it is a beautiful rose gold shade and oh I'm just gonna smear it on my cheekbones my nose trying to do my nose oh, I can't get anything out okay there we go Cupid's bow chin and just a tad on the forehead and I mean a tad I try to mean a tad and it always ends up being more and now we blend with of course the beauty blender I really like this. I've never, I've tried a lot of liquid highlights and I never like them. But I think all the ones I've tried are very pinky undertoned. And I'm very yellow and golden-y, so this rose gold complements me so much better. And it just looks so soft and glowy. It's so pretty. So pretty. Oh, it gives you that beautiful wet look. Just beautiful. I love it. So, there we go. All highlighted. And lastly, we just have lips. Today I am going to be using the Too Faced Sweet peach creamy peach oil lip gloss in the shade tickle me peach it's a bright coral gloss which I think is a really pretty touch for the summer that little pop of color with the nice glowy beachy look and it's not too intense rub it out and it's pretty subtle But these are very pigmented for glosses. And I appreciate that. And they taste and smell like peach candy. You just can't go wrong with them. Alright. And lastly, we're just going to set the face with... I'm going to be using the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin Wake Up Mist. It's just very dewy, glowy, gentle, and it'll hydrate. It's very hydrating as it set, sets makeup, so it keeps everything dewy. And it smells like oranges. So, here you go. This is how you get this very glowy, natural, summertime look. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment future video ideas. Comment what you think about this video. Comment what you think about me. Comment about you. I don't care. Comment. And just thanks so much. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed. I have 30 subscribers so far. And I know that's not a lot. But it means a lot to me that I have any people <laughs> wanting to subscribe. Any people wanting to watch. And I really appreciate it. And I love every single one of you who watch. So thank you so much. You all push me to still want to do this. So just thank you so much. And bye.